Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm going to show you a little bit about the Bool tool. The Bool tool, if you want to find it, you go to Blender Artist and uh, you do uh, search for Bool tool, all one word, and you come down here to point two and you go here to the download page and it brings you here and you got point one and point two uh, I'm not sure what the difference was but I found that this one is the later one point two so you know this don't make sense but this one kinda makes it look like it's the latest one so you, you, you right click you save or you click on it uh, I think for Mac you click on it you download it you open it up and I've already done it uh, you open it up and I put all my scripts it'll be a Python script put all my scripts in uh, Blender, Python scripts and Bool tool will be what you end up with after you uh, unpack the RAR uh, Bool tool so let's go to Blender, let's add that in, I think mine's already added in it's probably not, but let's do a new, a new uh, session user preferences, go to add-ons, search for Bool tool okay if it's not there, install from file, navigate to the file, install it. Then when you come back here, you click it, you install it. Um, I don't use fast transformations yet. Don't really, uh, didn't spend time to figure out what that does. But anyway, that's something you can do. Um, so here's an example. Here's where Bool Tool is going to be. It's going to be on a tab over here, and you've got all this here. Basically, instead of using... Uh, one object, you can use one or more objects as a paintbrush or direct like before. Um, so let's uh, take this standard cube, shift D, I'm going to bring it up here to the left, take this, shift D, bring it over here. Okay, now this is, the original one is what I want to act on. Uh, you might hear me better. And what I want to I want to act on this one here. So the way the one you're going to act on is going to be the last one that you select, and that will make it active. So these brushes will make anything else uh, that you select become a brush on the last thing you selected. Let me just show you. Okay, so we're going to select this. Uh, I'm going to shift select this, and then I'm going to shift select the object. The last one is lighter orange, the darker orange are the, the non-active but selected. Um, so anyway, I'm going to use difference. And you see now I've got a difference between my original and the two uh, so-called brushes. You could also do intersection. Uh, and that'll give you the intersection just like a regular bool tool or a union. Now you've got uh, one unit. But let's go to, the, to a difference. And if you just uh, select one of the brushes, you can move it around and see what it does. Like, let's say I want the opening to meet in here. Okay, so uh, I move it over here, and then I move it there, and I see, oh, okay, now, right there, when I get that opening, I just want to bring it back a little bit, like a doorway or something, if you're making a, a building or a park, you know, whatever. So... Um, you select the other one and you can move it around um, same thing with the original object if, if you want to kind of a different position between the two or whatever um, so that's it and then uh, you hit apply all it will apply all of these boolean operations which are over here you know it just uh, this interface uh, added with that added those modifiers it's also over here you can hit X to delete any one of those uh, so-called brushes. Um, you can apply all, you can remove all. So now I apply all and those brushes are gone. The, mo the modifiers have been applied. Um, I've now got my result from the boolean. If I hit just difference over here it would have done it directly and um, <clears throat> as opposed to over here you can move your brushes around. So now I go in here and you see you've got n-gons so I don't like to work with n-gons so with everything selected I would hit control 
uh, T, triangulate everything, and then Alt J. Uh, mm, it would have been good if I had my screencast keys going here. Um, I thought I did that. Mm. All right. There's my keys. There's my keys. Okay. Anyway, keys aren't showing up. All right, but uh, anyway, now I've got uh, quads that I can work with. Uh, let's show you one other thing that's important. Um, let's say you uh, make a, a mesh object. Let's say it's going to be a circle. I want it to face me. Let's only give it eight uh, vertices. Let's scale it down. Uh, let's go into edit mode. Let's uh, fill that. Okay, so we got an end gun now. Now with that, uh, let's extrude on the x-axis. Okay, so we've got this. Um, so let's, uh, oops. Oops. So let's uh, grab this and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I'm, I'm making a part, okay. Now I go in here, let's add another mesh, let's add a cylinder, let's have it uh, line to view, scale it down, okay, bring it on there, along the y-axis, scale it along the x, okay, let's make this a cutter, um, and let's uh, shift D, bring it down here, shift D, bring it down here, Okay, so now if we go this shift, shift, and then shift on the last thing that you want these to work on and hit different, you're going to get some weird stuff. And uh, the reason is you get, your normals have to be correct. So let's uh, remove all and let's go here and let's see. It's, uh, that would be. Uh, relations. Oh, got to go tab and uh, remove doubles. Okay, no doubles. Uh, let's go to shading, recalculate. Okay, bring it in here. Let's do this again and go to pool tools and difference. Hmm, okay. Let's see, what did I figure out yesterday? Move all. Um, recalculate. 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 Okay, that time it worked for some reason. So you gotta have your normals in the right direction. You can check it over here to see which direction it is. But if it's not, you're gonna have those that problem I had before where it just don't seem like it works. All right, so shift click everything, the last thing that you want the brush to act on and hit difference. Okay, now it's working uh, the way you want it to be. Let's apply all. Now you see you got this big, big end gone. So with every, everything selected, again, Control T, triangulate it, <clears throat> and then uh, Alt uh, J, and uh, your end gone's gone away. And of course, you can work on it a little bit more. Um, okay. Anyway, but now now you got something uh, that you can work on. Uh, after generating a lot of end guns. So that's basically the bull tool, and uh, I've got you there. And that's it. Um, there's a little more over here maybe to do, but uh, that's the basics right there. All right, thank you very much.